not getting it. Oh, there it is. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Rusty78609 here in Lano County at the fairgrounds, and they're having a long, they're having a longhorn show, okay? And that end right there is a longhorn. You got me? And that is a young lady, and this is her mother? Yes. Okay, and what is your name? My name is Annette, and, and we've been raising Texas longhorns for a few years now, and we show them, and we eat them. They have excellent meat. Their meat is high in protein and low in fat. Good. Um, we're here showing, and they have a futurity show, and then they have a youth show and an open show, so you can show longhorns at any age. It's a breeder show. Crazy. Um, we have to have special equipment to work with their horns. Yeah, that's what they I was asking. They know exactly yeah. where the tips of their horns are. They don't want to hurt anybody, but some Sometimes they'll swat a fly. You can't work them like regular cattle. You can't push them down a chute and stack them up. Yep. You have to do them one at a time and let them maneuver through the chutes yep. so that way they can get their horns in. You don't want them to break a tip and they absolutely can't. Okay. Well, um, what is this, a one day show or? It's a three day show. Three day show. So today is the maturity and tomorrow they'll have open and youth and Sunday they will as well. But do you win prize money for this? Um, sometimes we can, the kids can win scholarship money, they can win buckles, they can win ribbons. Okay. And of course, the more you win, the better reputation your farm has or your ranch has. All right, well, give, give, your, give your ranch a plug. We are 3J Texas Longhorns and we are out of New Ulm, Texas. New Ulm, where is that near? Uh, you know where Brenham is, where they yep. make bluebell ice cream. Oh, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's know where that is. is. Okay, what's the name of this this uh, lady? Is this a lady? So this is Come Along Millie. Come Along Millie. That's right. Hello. And this is um, Bella's Blue Bonnet. Bella's Blue Bonnet. We call her Bonnie. Bonnie. And that's Hot Jazzy over there. Oh, Hot Jazzy. Get down, dog. <laughs> and we are off to the maturity. <laughs> well, enjoy and good so, luck. Thank you for thank taking you. time. No to problem. Everybody in YouTube, thank these people because they're... Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're... Yeah. Bye. Bye. Bye bye. Good luck. Hope you win first place in every one of your categories. Thanks, so. <laughs> you bet. Good luck, guys. I know that's hard work. I'm an old farm boy myself. How about that, guys? I just happened to be riding around on a trike and came to this place. And let me hook my mic up on my shirt again now, where I let kind of do drive around here. Yeah, this this is a Longhorn uh, cattle show, as the lady explained, and. Uh, yeah, I'm hoping I'm getting this because the, there's a message on my camera saying something about the mic. You know, always something, man, I'm telling you. But be that as it may, let's go, Rusty. Anyway, look around. You know, they're back with all their RVs again. See, that's RV. They got hookups out there for uh, water and electric. You know, a lot of these people come in their RVs. Some of them bring the cattle trailers that are RVs. And uh, so, yeah, let's go on around here and see the rest of the Texas Longhorn. Yeah. Amazing, isn't it? What you run into when you just get out and about. Is that you, Judy? Yep, that's Judy right there. This is the people I was just talking to. Yeah, you gotta be careful of those horns, man. I'm telling you. We raise them. Good luck to you again. How about that? Hi. <laughs> I'd like to go in here, but I'm scared to drive the trike in because, you know, I get going down one of those aisles and a longhorn's coming the other way. That ain't going to work. This is an old, this is a different, this is like a Brahma up here, but yeah, these are not longhorns here. So they apparently have all kinds of stock here today other than just longhorns. I guess, because that's a Brahma there, that little downtown, when the horns are that turned down like that. You ever heard of a Brahma bull? I'm not sure, they got all kind of classes and categories and stuff. I'll go up here and park the trike, and uh, we'll kind of walk around here and I'll show you some cattle. Some of these are longhorns in there too. So, Here's my spot to park over here. For some reason, I picked this spot. And, uh, well, hell, let's see what we can do here. Uh, I don't know that it would be a good idea to go out there. This is the arena, but they're not having any events. But they're going to have something because they got these big speakers here, and that's some kind of lighting. I get. No, those are speakers. 
So they are going to have a, an event here. So let's see what we've got. Let's see what we have. I'm hoping this thing's recording this. If not, you're just going to have a picture without any sound. <laughs> That's all I can tell you. Because I am going to post this video. Okay, so, you know, that's something. I just decided to take a afternoon ride on the track because it's a beautiful day. It's in the upper 60s, I guess. Perfectly clear sky, as you can see. And uh, this arena is only about a mile or less from my campsite at the RV park. And, uh, yeah, so let's just cruise around here and do this thing, yeah. You know, I'd buy better equipment, but I don't know what I'd buy. You know, everybody says to get one of those dash mount things, and, and it's not that easy, man. They, they don't seem to work any better. I tried one from Walmart years ago. So I'm going to pull up here somewhere and stop, and then we're going to walk. And I'm going to pull up here and here out of the way. Right here, where it says no parking. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> okay. So let's uh let's go down this aisle over here where we saw that guy walk in. What I mean it's just been about six minutes. Here we go. Okay, let's see what we got here. This is that same group again. They're gonna think I'm stalking them. Let's go this way then. Look at that truck. That's a look, oh, look at those spikes. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> hello. There's a message in there. That's a that is a F-350 Power Stroke Crew Cab Dually. All along. La da 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 da. da, da, da. Yeah, I used to hang out at these old shows when I was a kid. When you get your foot filled up, how are you gonna carry it? I'm not dragging it <laughs> Mark, you got some longhorns here? What ranch are y'all from? Uh, two teeth. Two teeth? Two teeth longhorns. Out of where? Granberry. Granberry? Yes, sir. You got the grown, full, long ones? I got a couple down there, that black and white one and that, when they're not oversized. I hear you. I'll just walk around. Thank you. Enjoy your day. Good luck. Yes, sir. Thank you. Yeah, the, if y'all remember the, at my home base in Kingsland out there, I backed up to that ranch that had the Texas Longhorn. Uh, you know, those, those, are, those were the Longhorn. Is this an aisle way here? Nope. Yeah, you don't want to get too close to these cattle, man. They get spooked. And, uh, see there, he don't like me walking behind him. I can't see too good behind them. Calf here. Is that you, Martha? <laughs> Yo, came up right behind me. I don't want to get too close to this guy here. I'm trying to get him up there and get him a drink of water. So pretty, pretty calf. Look at those markings. That that's perfect mark. Perfect. Yeah, that is a perfectly marked little calf there, for sure. How y'all doing? Okay, yeah. Pretty good. Looks like y'all had a good turnout. Yes, Beautiful weather. Here's the, open the door and there's all the cattle. You know, people work real hard at this guy. You don't realize how much time and effort it takes to get a calf in that good a shape 
you know what I mean? Straight back, you know, perfect body conformation. Believe me, that is a lot of breeding to do that. This is the Big Bad John something TL Bulletproof. See, he's, he's curring a hair. You know, they'll, they'll, they'll have these things looking like they're ready for a movie when they get ready to show them. And what they do then, they'll walk them around in front of the judges two or three times. And then the judges uh, make a decision. Of course, you know, they're all cattle raisers and they know their stuff. So, you know, we'll walk around here a minute and let you see this. Now here's one right here. Now this is a full-blown Texas Longhorn right here. And you remember back the old, if you remember the cattle drives years ago up to uh, Dodge City, Kansas and other places, they were driving Texas Longhorns at first. And this one right here definitely is a Texas Longhorn. See that? I would say that's probably eight feet across. How are you doing? Oh, is this yours right here? Yeah. My God, look at the horns on that booger. Yeah, he's well, a is baby that, still. Is, he's a baby? He's four. Four, and that's a baby, huh? Yeah. My God. Yeah, can you imagine herding those years ago on horseback? No. Huh? Mm -mm. Uh-uh, huh? What is the wingspan on that horn there? It is 80 inches. 80 inches. Well, do they have a, a category for that? Uh, he is a trophy steer. Okay. And he is actually ranked eighth in the world. Eighth in the world. So that yep. baby, he's worth a few bucks, right? He is. Yeah. We're actually uh, saddle breaking him so you can ride him. You think I would ride that long horn? Are you kidding me? He's a big old baby. He doesn't even know he's a cow. He thinks he's a dog. Sure. <laughs> so that's what worries me. He doesn't know how big he is either. No, that's true. That's true. <laughs> he, he does have space issues so. yeah but yeah you know he could swing his head there i was talking to another lady that raced them mm -hmm. and they'll swing their head just like scratch a fly or something yes yeah you can get caught in the crossfire he so there's most of these that are raised by hand and saddle and, and halter broke and shown they're very very used to noises humans interaction all that stuff right. they don't use their horns right on people mm -hmm. um now if you've got a wild one out in the pasture that's never had hands on it they would Die, they hurt you. Yeah. yeah. Um, well, but he doesn't use his horns. He uses it to get flies and it to scratch his butt. I know. I hear you. <laughs> yeah, I, we, I, we raised cattle when I was a kid, but we never had any longhorn. Mm -hmm. And that's a whole different breed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I didn't realize the meat was so good. Oh, it is. It's yeah. fantastic. I've got two. I'm taking them one day. It's super lean. Yeah. Uh, the ground beef, when you cook it, you don't have to drain any fat or anything like that. It's, Wonderful. It's really good. Well, so you have, do you have a special market for the Longhorn beef? I do. I live in Austin. So you have people that buy directly from you for restaurants and stuff? Okay. Yeah, that, that makes it. Yep. Well, how long? A, so this is a three-day event. It is. And you're in from what part of Texas? Austin. From Austin? Mm -hmm. Okay. What's the name of your ranch? Uh, Twisted W. Longhorn. Twisted W. Longhorn. All right, guys, check that out. I'm doing a YouTube video. Yeah. And they're just showing, because a lot of people may not have ever seen a Texas Longhorn, particularly one like this, you know, where that's the old uh, Chisholm Trail type mm -hmm. Longhorn. Right? You but you can get a closer version if you want to, you want to pet him? He's nice. <laughs> well, I'll get around here, but I can't hardly pet him and hold the camera and all this stuff. But but I do, I, I don't, I don't want to. Yeah, because see, what is what is he weigh, 2,000? 1800 well when you get 1800 uh, pounds of beef moving uh, he, he, he may not he may not know exactly what he's doing you understand but he's beautiful that's a beautiful animal I mean this is is, is this it, it, yeah I see that but it, it, no kidding well when are they full grown so the horns will continue to grow until they're about eight to ten years old. Okay. So you uh, think his horns will make one more twist? I think so. Yeah. And does that add value to? to it does. Is, um, is he a breeding stock? I mean, he's, he's a, not. He's a steer. Steer. Okay. Unfortunately, no bull. he was a steer when I bought him. I got you. Yeah. Um, I would have kept him a bull for sure. Yeah, that's one that. Yeah, but you never know that until they're this size, and yeah. then you regret it. Yeah, I hear you. <laughs> I well, do have a bull. 
the bull that we have is the national 2020 national grand champion. So, really? But I didn't bring him because he aged out. So oh, he's, did he? Yeah, he's going to turn two next month. And so. that's it? Yeah, about 18 months for bulls just because they get so big. How, what's your name? Layton. Say again? Layton. Layton. Layton? Did you know you're on YouTube right now? Yeah? <laughs> Do you ever watch YouTube videos? Yeah, well, you watched it. My name's Rusty, and my YouTube channel is Rusty78609. And I'll probably post this video tomorrow, and you can see yourself on YouTube. With Bruiser. Yeah. And this is your mom, right? Because mm -hmm. YouTube will ask. You know, you're supposed to have you know, the mom or the parent around, yeah. and which I think is a good idea. Absolutely. Because uh, there's some of these guys that do some weird stuff. Yeah. Well, son, do you work with these cattle yourself? <laughs> yeah, he well, shows a art. couple of little ones, and this is his favorite guy. I bet. <laughs> and you know, it's a funny thing. Animals know when there's a child around, mm -hmm. and they're extra careful not to hurt them. Yeah. yeah. Particularly like this animal here that's a pet. Yeah. yeah. But anyway, I'll get out of your way and let you yeah, enjoy your fine. show. You're but fine. good luck to you, and Thank good luck you. to the uh, Mr. Bighorns. This is BZB Bruiser. BZB Bruiser. Bruiser. All right. Enjoy your day, son. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> well, guys, I think I'm going to end the video now after I walk down this way. Yeah, it's pretty interesting. You know, these people, it's, this is a big money deal. But I'm telling you, here's another one over here. See this one right here? But this is all Texas Longhorns. And uh, there's history staring you in the face, my God. Yeah, they used to take herds up north on the Chisholm Trail and other trails. 3,000 in one herd. You know what I mean? 3,000 of those things. And uh, of course, you know, the cowboys had to know how, how to handle them and they did. But having said that, guys, from uh, Atlanta, Texas, on a beautiful day, and there's another beautiful set of horns. And I'm, I'm not sure how they grade them. I should have asked that question, but I didn't. Oh, it's too late now. But so with that in mind, ladies and gentlemen, this is Rusty78609 from the Longhorn Show here in Lano, Texas. That'll be here today, Saturday, and Sunday, apparently. So anyway, let me get my thumb out here. Thumbs up, carpe diem, adios, bye-bye. Buy anything you want, anytime. But if you think about it, use the... Amazon link in the description of all of my videos. Why? Because it doesn't cost you a penny. Amazon takes care of me. So, uh, get out and about, guys. And, uh, boy, that, that rack, that set of horns on that last one I showed you, that, that's about the biggest I've ever seen on a longhorn. 80 inches. What is that? Six feet? Six foot, eight inches. Jesus. Man. But have, anyway, drink plenty of water, stretch, walk, keep your health, do all those things to keep yourself healthy. And uh, BZB Bruiser. Be careful, big boy. Adios, amigos. Bye-bye.